Hey, it's you. Well, welcome to Captain Mike's Artistic Adventures, and today's exploration is working on this right here. So we've got a little video I put up earlier, but I've decided to go live so you can actually see me doing this right here on Memorial Day. So what I've got is this large piece of metal, and let's see if we can see it here. What it is is a piece of metal that I had from before. I had it probably a few years ago. And it's stamped, I don't know if you can see this, but it's got some really cool stampings in it. And you can see how thick the aluminum is right here. And that's what it is, a sheet of aluminum, stamped out. And I originally colored this to do a uh, 4th of July. That's what this was. So today I'm revamping it in honor of Memorial Day. So stay tuned, I'm going to go ahead and start working on this a little bit more. And you can see exactly how this is going to come to fruition. But uh, as of right now... Let's see here. We got looks like we got it upside down for where we uh, we were working on it before, but you can kind of see the bare bones of how it's going to come together. I'm going to take this sucker and flip it over. Next thing we need to do is go ahead and get the surface prepared for some paint. <clears throat> so that's what we're going to work on here. Might have to do a little bit more grinding just to hit a couple little areas and smooth those up. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on a tripod. Let you guys watch how this happens. Is anybody going to the beach today? That's where we're headed here in a little while. Get a little work done. A little fun done. It's always good for this kind of stuff. that one little spot because I wanted to show you exactly what this uh, special little grinder does for us. I don't know if you can see this. It's, you can see when the sun hits this, it really makes a really cool reflection right in this area here. I don't know if you can see that or not. We're going to go ahead and wipe this hole down. I think we uh, we got a good uh, basis here on, looks like we got a couple little spots we need to hit again. So we'll go ahead and tilt that in here for you. Good, uh, got to have a good base here for us to be able to work with. So we're going to, uh, I put this tape on here earlier just to kind of give me a guideline, but you can see that the uh, grinder didn't like that very well. It just tore right up. So we're going to pull all that off here, give us an idea what kind of edge we got. But we're going to come back and, looks like we're going to have to hit that with a grinder so it matches the rest of things. Good old duct tape. Unlike super glue, duct tape does stick to everything else other than your skin. Somebody told me that's exactly what uh, super glue was originally made for. They used it back in the war to uh, quickly heal up skin wounds. Large, they would keep it in spray bottles and that would stop the bleeding. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe you know. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. Yes, you who is Googling that very same thing right now. Let's see what you got. 